Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog. I am sweaty and out of breath because I just got home from my, I guess I would call today a hike. Sometimes I walk, sometimes I walk jog, sometimes I hike. Today was definitely a hike. It felt very good. I am definitely tired and sweaty, but ready to take a shower, ready to get on with my day. Well, actually this is gonna be my second shower of the day and it is only 10 a.m. And that is because, okay, so. Mini story time. I set my alarm for 7.30. I woke up and I was like, all right, I'm gonna get my hike in before the day gets too hot. We're gonna get started early. So I get out of bed, I put my hair up, and all of a sudden my scalp feels like so itchy. So when it started getting really, really itchy, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do like a full like reset with regular shampoo when I get home from my hike. But by the time I came into the kitchen to make my breakfast, my scalp was so itchy and like dry that I could not stop myself from itching it. And there was like blood, not like blood blood but there was like little red flakes under my fingernails from scratching it i was like this is disgusting i need a shower right now i don't care if it doesn't make sense i don't care if i'm about to go get all sweaty and have to shower again i'm taking a shower so i ended up hopping in like doing a full wash condition like scrubbing my scalp everything and then just hiking with like fully wet hair with no product in it and on a normal day i would just be like okay whatever put my hair up in a bun for the rest of the day but like take a body shower but since i'm filming later today i would like my hair to look somewhat presentable. So I think I'm just gonna like fully wet reset again and actually put product in this time. But that's my very boring story time about my itchy painful scalp. <laughs> so plan for the day. I need to make the donation from the Poshmark proceeds, which it is going to Feeding America. So that's super exciting. We're donating $3,344, I think is the exact number for the first quarter of 2020. Half of that is from Poshmark sales. And then the other half is just me matching. It. So that's exciting. I need to make that donation. I have so many packages to unbox like so many I'll do an unboxing for you guys later today I am filming a main channel video I think at three o'clock I decided today and then I need to send that footage over to my editor and I would like to tidy and declutter the house So that is the plan for the day. Oh my gosh, the dogs look so freaking cute right now Let me show you we've got angel number one right here. Hi, baby And we have angel number two right here soaking up the sun Sunshine, hi baby, you are so cute. Wow, you're warm. You're very warm. And my third angel, AKA my husband, I'm pretty sure he's upstairs playing video games last I checked. He's been working a ton lately. Like I feel like every night he's working and every morning he's waking up earlier than usual and starting work. So I'm very glad he's getting some time on his Sunday to relax. But I know he said he has some more work that he wants to do today. Oh! Alrighty, I am showered, I feel fresh, I feel clean, I am de-sweatified. And I was really worried that my scalp was gonna be like super, I guess, sensitive all day or even for a couple days after the way it felt this morning. And when I got back in the shower, I definitely did spend a little bit of extra time with my scalp massager, really trying to make sure I got everything out of my scalp. Because I think this morning I was in kind of such a panic from it feeling so itchy, I was just like, <laughs> I kind of rushed through it. And then my second shower gave me some time to like really make Make sure I'm getting in there. But my scalp feels good. I don't know, I've never experienced that like itchiness on my scalp before. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have because I was like low key freaking out, but it's better now. So I guess I just need to not wear my hair in a bun three days in a row without washing it. All right, um, I'm gonna let my hair plop for a little while longer. I've just got some light product in it today. And uh, I think I'm gonna tidy up the kitchen because every time I'm vlogging right now, I'm just looking in the background and being like, oh my gosh, I need to clean that up. So let's do it. Three. Two, one, boom, there it is, a clean kitchen. And Steven came down and helped me too. Thanks, Steven. It's hard work, but I got it done. <laughs> How was your morning? It was good. I went out and got some more paper towels and bet toilet paper. Nice. Which now we're good for another however long bag lasts. Um, and then I played some Xbox. And now I'm gonna work. And then what else? I feel like it's been a while since the camera's pulled out. I know, it's been like almost a week. Wow. I know. Because there was a like grind going on. Well, uh, the one bad thing that happened. Oh, gosh. Moment of silence. <laughs> the pool pumped out. <laughs> So there will not be any pool going this weekend, which sucks because we're kind of in a heat wave. Yeah, another one's coming in hot. So I got, we have a home warranty thing that they're gonna come and check out the pump while we're like, I don't know, hopefully we're not, we don't need to interact with them too much. But. Well, yeah, because I think because they're outside, the yeah. pool pump's outside. So I think if it was something in the house, I'd be a yeah. little more scared, but. but that'll be interesting. Um, Navigating that. I don't expect home warranties to ever do anything. That's Thing. They they give these home warranties and then like in our last house something uh, I think it was the dryer or like the hot water or something yeah. got messed up and they were like oh yeah no sorry it doesn't cover under the home warranty I'm well, like what's the purpose of the home warranty 
pretty then. There's just like a, such a laundry list of like, oh, doesn't cover this, doesn't cover that. So I'm just doing it because it'll save money. But if not, then I'll have to fix it myself. Anyways, let's get. <laughs> All right. I'm. Get to lunch. I'm. Oh, I'm also gonna have lunch. I'm gonna have a daily harvest bowl, and then I'm gonna unbox those packages, yeah. which I know you've been wanting me to do for a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I just finished uh, taping up the labels on my packages. You guys ready for this? So all of this is the filming equipment that I ordered from B&H. So we've got two giant refills of my paper rolls. We've got a monitor stand. We've got a new lighting kit, a new ring light. That way I can have one set in the podcast room and one in the main channel filming room. And we don't have to move them back and forth and scuff up the walls like we have been. So we've got all of this and then there's a lot. The amount of packages here is like honestly low-key embarrassing. Like I'm sitting here like how is there this much stuff? Like I feel like I haven't ordered that much stuff over the past couple weeks. But the thing is like the vast majority of it is the camera gear which I ordered a while ago and it just took a long time to get here. And then the rest of the packages have been accumulating over the past like two, two and a half weeks because I knew I wanted to wait and just do a big vlog unboxing once uh, all of the camera gear got here because I knew it had shipped. So it just kept building up and building up. I think there's only like three things in here that are like for me not for a video not for my channel I know I know I ordered a pair of joggers from Albion fit that I've really been wanting to try I get ads for them all the time They're called I think like the jet setter pants and they were finally back in stock in my size So I ordered those and then I got a refill of my hair product from pros And then I got a couple new workout shirts from Amazon and other than that I think it's all channel stuff, but let's unbox <laughs> Okay, so first thing out of this box, we have my new LED lighting setup. So this is gonna be the lights that we use for the podcast. We have that big box light for my main channel. The kit came with two of these LEDs that have the barn doors, which is super nice, and they have dimmers on the back, which is awesome. And they have these little bags and this really cool carrying case too, which is awesome. I feel like if I'm ever shooting a collab somewhere else, I could totally bring this with me and it would be super, super easy. This is what the back looks like with like the dimmers and stuff. And then um, on this side, we just have the power cable and in these two little pouches, the two light stands for these guys. This one, I mean, based on the box, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this is my new rolling monitor stand. So let's see what it looks like. Oh gosh, so much styrofoam. Oh my gosh, everything is covered in the styrofoam, but that's fine, we'll figure it out. All right, so there's styrofoam everywhere. I guess I can add vacuuming to my lids. All right, so I'm gonna carry all these pieces uh, up to the office and then probably put it together either late tonight or tomorrow, maybe get some help from Steven because this isn't like a, like a must need right now. It's just something that is definitely gonna be nice once it's ready. This box here has my new ring light inside another box, but essentially it's pretty much the same ring light I used to have, but um, a little bit nicer and newer. So this is gonna be the one in my main studio. And then my old one is gonna go into the podcast room. Oh gosh. Gosh, dang it. Yeah, I'm fine. The camera just dropped. Camera, are we good? Is the lens cracked? No, I think we're fine. I we're heard. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think we're chilling. Also, one of the packages had so much styrofoam in it. I tried to contain it, but it definitely got everywhere, so I'm definitely gonna have to vacuum later. Anyways, as I was saying, these two packages are suspiciously light, and I would think that all of my small stuff that I memory cards and such would be in that box. Maybe that box is from something else and they put it in here, but then why is it so vertical? Oh, it's the light stand for the ring light. The ring light didn't come with a light stand, so you have to buy one separately. Do I need instructions for you, light stand? Eh, good. I placed this order so long ago. It took forever to shift. I honestly feel like some of the things I don't fully remember. Oh, it's the new tripod. Okay, that makes sense. So this is the Magnus VT400. This is the tripod that I use for all my videos. It's really great, it's really easy to use, and I figure I should get the same one for the podcast room. That way we can switch the camera, because I only have one camera that we really use. I can switch the camera between tripods without having to change out the tripod plate. All right, now that the big bulky stuff is done, I'm gonna unbox the rest of the stuff here at the table so you guys can actually see everything and it's a lot more comfortable. So this is my last box from B&H. This should be all of my small stuff. This isn't from B&H. Where are all my memory cards? Oh my 
my gosh, I'm sweaty. Why am I getting sweaty from an unboxing? Oh my gosh, Stephen's gonna die. It's a PR package from HBO Max. Oh, this is really cool. So they have a little card inside about all the donations that HBO Max is making to help fight the effects of COVID-19. Oh my gosh, it's a Game of Thrones collector's chess set. My whole family is gonna be so freaking jealous. They love Game of Thrones. A popcorn kit with like kernels and cheese and a bunch of stuff. That is so freaking cool. I feel like everything I open, I'm like, what's in here? What's in here? Cause I didn't think this was a PR package. I totally thought this was like my new SD cards and boring stuff. We have HBO Max dark chocolate bars, popcorn, raisinets, Swedish fish, red vines. We're gonna have to have a little HBO Max night. This is so cool. Ooh, we have some wireless headphones. Super cool. HBO Max playing cards. A 500 piece jigsaw puzzle of HBO Max shows. <laughs> that is so cool. Thanks HBO Max, I didn't expect this. <laughs> you Instagramming? It's a pretty sweet PR pack. I know, this like derailed my whole unboxing. Like, I was There's a lot of PR packages like, okay, this is awesome. Like, this one's like, cool. <laughs> What's going on? This one got you out of your lair. Okay, so here's the thing though. Where are my memory cards? I thought that box was my memory cards. Right, okay, there was a box. Right here. Where? The one I already opened. Oh, wait, you opened it? Yeah, this is the box I thought I was gonna be showing you guys. All right, back to the unboxing. This is my package of boring stuff. We have, ooh, so exciting, a new 10-foot XLR cable, because my other one's starting to crap out. Two of them, oh my gosh, iconic. This is a lot less exciting. I'm trying to make it exciting. We have a backup tripod plate, because I only place orders like this for new equipment on B&H maybe once every two years. So whenever I do, I stock up on things like this that you can't really just order from Amazon or something. In case sometime in the next two years before I do my next B&H order, I lose my tripod plate or it breaks, we've got a backup. We have a second remote controller for my camera. I figure since I'm relying on this so heavily right now to film since um, Carly and Jess and Skylar can't be in the office, it's good to have a backup in case I lose it. I should not put that down without putting it in the case because I'm going to lose it. And then also kind of same theme as the rest of this unboxing so far, one for the podcast room and one for the main channel. You going back up? Bye. Bye. And then whenever I do one of these orders, I like to stock up on memory cards. I have probably about 12 memory cards that range from a 16 gigabyte to a 64 gigabyte. And recently I've been filling up my 64 gigabyte sometimes when I'm filming a main channel video that has a lot of footage. So I wanted to get a couple of these 128 gigabyte cards for those larger videos. And then I got a couple more 32s. So here's all of that. And that is it for my equipment and then I have a whole bunch of these smaller packages which I think almost all of these are for the swimsuit video that I'm filming later today and I actually don't want to like completely unbox these because I want to show the unboxing in the main channel video so I just need to check and make sure everything's here so this is Lucy Avenue this is Lime Ricky another one of the swimsuit brands everything looks good okay and then I have two packages from Albion Fit one of these is for the swimsuit video and one of these is the pair of pants, the Jet Setter joggers that I bought just for myself. So I, I guess I should open them both up and see which is which. Okay, these must be the joggers. I am very excited about these. I've heard people rave about them. So here they are. I just got the black. These are the Albion Fit Jet Setters and I got an extra, extra large petite. I figured the petite will be good because I am a little bit shorter and then they won't like bag or drag. And then I'm usually between an extra large and an extra extra large so I went with the bigger size since I was getting the petite and hopefully these work out I'm excited to try these on I will put these I'll start a personal pile that's my personal pile okay so then this must be the swimsuit for the video yep swimsuit this is from one loved babe another one of these swimsuit brands everything's good in there this is for me I'm thinking this is my workout shirt so I just got like 
four of these lightweight plain workout shirts so I can mix and match these with my different pairs of leggings from Fabletics, which I have a Fabletics package over there. One in black and one in kind of a, a pinky mauve, I would say. Awesome. Next package, I think it's the last one for me, and that is from Pros. We've got some hair product here. I tried their custom curl cream a while ago because I had seen it in a bunch of places and I was like contemplating working with them on an Instagram post. So I was like, all right, I need to try this. Let's see what this is all about. And I became like absolutely obsessed with it and I've been using it ever since. The first round of product I got for free because I was doing a sponsorship with them and now I pay for my own product because I just really, really love it. So I think this is my third time renewing and I get it every two months and I get two bottles for those two months. That way I'm not getting a new package every month when these can just sit on my shelf. I also got the pre-shampoo mask. I really like this for days when my hair is just super, super tangled and I wanna be able to detangle it before I shampoo, but I also don't wanna waste my conditioner on that if I'm just gonna shampoo again. So I really like this. Then what's in this box? Oh, it's the hair oil. This I have not tried yet. So this is a silicone free hair oil, which I was using Olaplex. I think that's how you say it for a while until I tested it on Curlsbot and it said that it has silicones in it. So I shouldn't be using it on my wavy hair. So I'm gonna try this pros one. It's curly girl approved, so we will see. Okay, so next round of packages here. I think most of these are for sponsorships, my Savage X Fenty and my Fabletics. But um, this package here is Sanita Athletics, which is one of the swimwear brands for that video. So I will pop that down there. Okay, so the Fabletics and the Savage X Fenty, I have to hang up in my office closet because I'm gonna be filming Instagram story try-ons of all of these. So I wanna take the packaging off, but I don't really wanna like try them on yet because I like to give my first impressions in those Instagram stories. So I guess I should just, I'm gonna drape them over this chair here and that way I can take them upstairs after this and uh, organize everything. Thing. But I leave the tags on, or at least I will for now, so that I can get the name right and the sizing and the color and the price and all of that. I love when they do this with their sweaters, the little wrap front. I think it's called the Sydney Twist Front Hoodie. I have this in black from a couple months back and I wear it all the time. So I feel like the purple is very, very fun. I'm gonna try not to look at any more of these because I don't wanna spoil it for myself. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna spoil one more thing just cause I'm really excited about these. So I love the Fabletics bike shorts. They are my go-to for like working out, lounging around the house. And some of theirs have pockets on the side and some don't. And I like both, but for exercising, I like the ones with the pockets better cause I can put my phone in there or my AirPods. And they sent me for this month the Mila high-waisted pocket short nine inches in this really pretty green color. I have these in black and I wear them non-stop. So I'm so excited to have these in like a fun color. And that is everything from Fabletics, but I never really show you guys because I'm gonna do the unboxing on Instagram. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the camera while I do the same with Savage X Fenty because I feel like it's probably kind of boring to just watch me unbox things and not actually show them or talk about them. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so closet is organized. Everything's put away. I decided to keep the thread up stuff in the boxes because they're actually gonna be sponsoring not this vlog, but the main channel video where I show the TikTok hacks. So I figure it'll be cool if I show the packaging since their packaging is so cute. And then I have my Fabletic stuff all hung up here. And then on the ground, I use these little bins to like organize stuff for different videos. So this is all of my Savage X Fenty stuff that I'm gonna be unboxing on my Instagram for the month. And then these two packages are the Luca and Gray packages for that review. So closet is uh, good to go, let's shut it. And then on the ground over here, I have the five packages for the swimsuit video that I'm gonna be filming. That took so much longer than I expected. And he, he, so here's the thing, with being a YouTuber, I get a lot of mail. I get stuff that I order to film videos like the swimsuits from Instagram ads and the Luca and Gray stuff. And then I also get packages from sponsors when I'm working with the brand, so like Fabletics, Savage X Fenty, ThreadUp. And then sometimes I also get PR boxes, which are basically just, like I said earlier, packages that brands send out, but you don't have to like post about it or anything. It's just gifted, like the HBO Max box. So I end up getting so much mail and usually I feel a little bit guilty about it because of all the packaging. So I started saying no, I would say about a year ago to a lot of PR, which is a very weird thing to 
consider because I feel like before my YouTube channel kind of grew and I was still in that process of like having these dreams and these goals of what my channel could be like someday, I would watch these YouTubers do PR hauls and unboxings and I'd be like, wow, that's so freaking cool. Like, can you imagine not having to pay for your makeup and your clothes and just getting all this stuff gifted to you? Like, it's so cool. And it it is so cool. It's definitely like a big perk of the job. But also I realized about a year ago that I was saying yes to things just because they were free and it seemed cool, even if it wasn't a product that I was like really, really gonna use and love. So I decided to start, you know, saying no to PR when brands would reach out unless it was a product I was like super, super stoked about. And so I started to feel better about the amount of, you know, packaging and waste that was being produced from the sponsor products and the PR products that I get. But then now that everything's going on, with COVID-19, I think I have like a different kind of guilt about even just ordering stuff online or even when I'm not ordering it, if it's just gifted, knowing that, you know, people are having to be out there packaging and delivering those things. And it's definitely been like weighing on me. And even with this unboxing, like as soon as I started doing it, I was like, I, I shouldn't film this. I shouldn't show this, you know? I, it makes me a little uncomfortable because I know, I know that there are a lot of people who have to work because of, these packages. It's been like a hard thing for me, I think recently. And I've definitely been limiting what I order online, especially for myself. But you know, with my videos and stuff, like I can't go into the stores anymore to buy stuff. So it really has to be ordered online. And you know, a big part of my business is working with sponsors. And it's really important to me to be able to pay my employees the same way that I was before all of this. And you know, in order to do that, in order to keep my business running, I have to take sponsorships and I have to film videos videos and sometimes that involves getting packages and I do feel a little uncomfortable about it and I still feel kind of weird about vlogging it because I feel uncomfortable about it but I'm gonna show it anyways because that's my real life even when things aren't messy and perfectly packaged for lack of a better word and it was really fun to unbox everything and I had a good time especially with the new YouTube equipment I had a really good time setting everything up it's really cool I I don't do that very often and it's really exciting and I always get super excited when I get to take my videos to a different level or experiment with different things. And I'm really excited about that rolling monitor. I think that's gonna be super, super cool. But yeah, that's uh, a little story about the behind the scenes of PR and sponsorships and packaging and, and all of that stuff that makes me feel weird. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you guys have any other like questions that pop up in your brain about like PR and sponsorships. I'm happy to answer them. I feel like I'm I'm pretty transparent about that stuff. I, of course, always wanna make it really, really clear whenever something has been gifted to me or whenever I'm being paid to talk about something. But also I, I know it's kind of like a weird, interesting world of seeing all of these YouTubers get PR and unbox stuff and not necessarily like fully knowing how it works. So I'd be happy to answer any other questions in future vlogs. So I don't know what this piece of hair is doing, but just let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. One thing I feel like a lot of people don't know is at least me, I don't know about other YouTubers, but I probably turned down 99. 5% of the brand inquiries I get to my email just because I only wanna work with brands that like I genuinely love and would rave about if it wasn't sponsored. So I feel like at the beginning of my channel, it was harder to make those decisions because you know, when I only had 5,000 subscribers, it was harder to work with brands who were household names and were brands that I was actively using and loving. And now I definitely have more freedom to be picky, which is so nice. And I do feel like I do a decent amount of sponsored videos, but I always like to balance it so that I still have like two or three not sponsored videos for every sponsored video. And like I said, of course, I only work with brands I love. So there'd be a lot more sponsorships if I just worked with anyone who knocked down my door with a paycheck. <laughs> All right, it is three o'clock. I wanted to start filming at three and that's not gonna happen because it's 3.04 right now and no makeup. Equipment is kind of sort of set up, but not really. And also I just kind of want to like chill out for a second. So I think I'm gonna push filming back to four. I mean, the only person whose schedule I need to coordinate with is Steven coming in and focusing the camera and then leaving. <laughs> so he should be fine with that. Um, I'm just gonna go chill on the couch, have a glass of water, maybe have like a protein bar or something to power me through this filming and then uh, film and hopefully Hopefully have some time to relax in the evening. That'd be great. It's 3.15 and I feel like it's a little late in the day for me to have a 
coffee, especially because I don't like regularly have coffee anymore. I feel like I used to never drink coffee. And then there was a small period, like maybe a year ago, six months ago, where I got into espresso and was having a cappuccino or a latte every morning. And then when Steven and I started trying to conceive, I started drinking less coffee. And then when I got pregnant, I stopped drinking coffee altogether. And then since my miscarriage, I just feel like I never got really back into drinking coffee. I haven't needed it. I haven't wanted it. I've had it a couple days where I just feel like I need that extra boost. So I'm contemplating having a cup before I film because I just feel kind of like tired and sluggish. I don't know what it is. I feel like usually when I work out in the morning, I'm fine. I prefer exercising in the morning because I feel like I get it over with and I don't have to like plan my day around trying to fit in some movement. And usually I'm not like tired for the rest of the day, but today, I don't know if it's that or something else. I just feel like heavy and sluggish and kind of like blah, low energy. So is coffee the answer? Sure, sure, we'll try it. Or maybe I'll get super shaky and get a headache because I'm not used to caffeine and then I won't be able to film. Or maybe I'll have a ton of energy and uh, fly through filming like that. We will <laughs> find out. Okay, pour in the milk and foam. I'm nervous I'm gonna like it a lot and then I'm gonna get back in the habit of drinking um, like a latte every day, which isn't a bad thing. It's not the worst thing. I feel like the vast majority of the world relies on coffee, but I feel like I would rather not rely on it and I'm doing fine now for the most part, except for today where I feel very tired and sluggish. So if I don't need coffee, I don't wanna just default to drinking it, you know? But I'm talking way too much. Let's just drink the freaking coffee. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this brings me back. I do love lattes and I love this cup. It's from Disney World. Steven picked it out. It has all four, I think four of the parks. Yeah, four. Epcot, Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Magic Kingdom. It makes me happy. It's really cute. I feel like I, I tend to gravitate towards the mugs that we got on trips and like make me feel all happy inside versus like our just plain colored ones that came with our dish set. I feel like these ones just always make me a little happier. Ah, I feel better already. <laughs> did you have a good time outside? Did you bark at all the little lizards? Yes, you did. Yes. And you, little lady, I already went around this morning and picked up all the toys from the floor and put them back in your toy basket. And you're already making a mess again. Bella, gosh, you just never learn. You are so cute too. I love you. I love you and your little wagging tail. Everyone's gonna hate when I'm talking in this voice, but I just can't help it because you're so freaking cute. And you too, Bella, don't worry. <laughs> Bella is so funny though. She will literally dig through this toy basket to find like the exact one she wants for that day. And then of course she just never puts them back. But what can you do when you have a dog? Bruiser, on the other hand, hates toys. Can't be bothered. Bruiser, you wanna play? You wanna, no, no? Okay, all right, I know you wanna play. <laughs> Go get it. And you just love the pets, I know. Oh, yes. Oh yes, cutest girl. I got Bruiser a year before Bella and I remember like the day that I knew I was gonna adopt Bruiser. Well, I had like already adopted her and like done all the paperwork, but the day we were gonna go pick her up, I remember I went to Petco and I bought her so many toys and little stuffed animals and you know, I was just so excited. I had never had like my own dog. I was 16, 17, 17, I was 17 at the time. And I was so excited. I went and spent like my entire paycheck from working at the theater on things for this little dog. And as soon as she gets to the house, she just turns up her nose at all the toys, crawls into the bed and just wants to cuddle, which was so cute. And to this day, just warms my heart how much of a little cuddle bug she is. But I was so <laughs> sad that she was not the kind of dog that wanted to play with toys. And then I ended up keeping all of them. And when I got Bella, she was just in like little dog toy heaven. She loves to play, she loves toys. So at least they didn't go to a waste. It just took another year until I got Bella. The only way that Bruiser likes to play is sometimes if she's in like a super hyper mood, which maybe happens like once every couple days in the evening, she'll run up and down the halls or she'll run around the backyard with Bella and they'll just chase each other. But if I try to throw a toy in the mix, she has no interest. <laughs> All right, heading up into the office. Well, I guess the filming room. Now that they're separate rooms at this house, I should differentiate. Office, podcast room, 
filming room. So now that I am heading into the filming room, I think I'm just gonna wear this t-shirt that I was already wearing because I'm only wearing it for the intro and like the talking part, so it doesn't like really, really matter. And then I grabbed a pair of like nude colored undies that I can wear when I try on the swimsuits. And I also always wear like nipple covers whenever I film swimsuit videos or bra videos, like just, just to be careful. So I need to grab a pair of those from the props bin in the podcast room. And then uh, I guess I'll bring up a cup of water, get the stuff set up and call Steven in to help me focus and we'll be rocking and rolling. All right, everything is set up. We've got the lights, we've got the audio, we've got my packages here. All right, um, I'm gonna put the vlog down. You wanna focus that on me? Thank you. Now turn the camera back to me. Mm -hmm. Roll video. Video rolling, roll audio, audio rolling, Instagram swimsuits talking, intro and outro, take one. Love you. Love you. All right, vlog, I'm gonna put you guys away. Oh, wow, this lighting is so good for the vlog too. <laughs> with the ring light and the lights and the little string lights, it actually looks really nice. But I'm gonna put you guys down and focus on the main channel video and I'll check in later. All right, we are done filming the video. It is approaching seven o'clock. Oops, look at that brightness. There we go, all better. Um, but we just went out into the backyard real quick to take a little Instagram photo because I liked this swimsuit from the video so much. I feel like it's so cute. I love this little tie in the front. It's super supportive, super comfortable. So I was like, hey, Steven, wanna hop in the backyard real quick and take an Instagram picture for me and then I can post it when I post the video to like promote it. Okay, but this is super cute, right? With the high waisted like ruched black bottoms and the little like animal print tie top. Oh, I feel like a visco girl with the sunshine coming through. I'm like blinded. I can't even see what the camera looks like. All right, I'm gonna figure something out for dinner. Steven is back up working in his office, which again, I just, I can't say it enough times. I'm so grateful for him and how much he's helped me with filming and stuff since the quarantine and the lockdown. And it's just, it's been so, so helpful. Even just today, like he was working in his office and whenever I needed to reset a shot and refocus it, he would come in and do that for me because otherwise, I could still film it, but the video would be on autofocus. And the autofocus on my camera is notoriously bad. Like it literally, I used to use it back in the day when I just filmed everything myself. It goes in and out of focus all the time with just the slightest movement. And it's definitely a less enjoyable viewing experience for you guys. So it's been just so helpful, even just having him pop in every 15 minutes when I reset the shot, focus it, and then step out back into his office. It's also super convenient that my filming studio has the Jack and Jill bathroom with his office because it's right there. It's super easy for him to pop in and then uh, pop outside and help me take the Instagram photo too. That was super, super nice. So I'm gonna make dinner for the both of us. I wanna make something that Steven will really, really like because like I said, he's pretty busy right now. He's working and stuff. So I've got the time. I might as well make something that he really likes. I'm trying to think what we could do. You know what? I'm just gonna text him, see what he wants and I'll make whatever he wants. Hello, hello, it is the next day. I just woke up. Wow, my hair is, uh, it's something right now. <laughs> so it is about 7.45 right now. I woke up at 7.30 and I'm hoping to leave the house with Bella to go on a hike or walk around 8.15, hopefully. <laughs> I wanna make breakfast before I go though. And I think I wanna have pre-workout today because I wanna do my arms and legs and abs segment when I get back. And I think I wanna do more of like a hike jog today, kind of like kick it up a notch. We had a really fun night together last night. Once Steven finished working, we watched a couple episodes of The Office and cuddled on the couch. And he said the sweetest thing in our group chat with Skylar and Kyle that just like warmed my heart. Let me pull it up. So we were just like talking about, you know, our weekends, what we did and stuff. And Steven was like, I had to work this weekend. So that was a little lame, but we vlogged and filmed a main channel video tonight. So that was really fun. I don't know why that just makes me so happy. Like I love that Steven is loving like filming and vlogging as much as I am. Like he, he's definitely like come into his own, especially with vlogging, which has been just so cool to see. Especially remembering, you know, when we started this vlog channel together, I think it, I think it was late 2017. 16 because it was before we got married just remembering like how awkward he felt about all of it And I remember, you know, sometimes he would pick up the vlog camera and be like, I don't know Like what do I say? And so it's just been really cool to see him like become so much more confident with vlogging and filming and also like really really enjoy it And so that text just I was like, oh my gosh Especially because I felt kind of bad having him help me film the main channel video yesterday when he still had to work But it like I don't know it makes me so happy that that was like the highlight of his weekend like that was the good part I don't know 
and it's very sweet. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here and actually start another vlog because I am in the vlogging mood. But that's the thing is I never force myself to vlog. I'm never like, oh my gosh, I haven't vlogged in, you know, three days or a week. I need to vlog. I really like that this channel is just open. Like I don't have a specified amount of like upload days or anything like that here. So it's just kind of whenever I feel like it. And I think that has really given me the freedom to feel like I don't have to be perfect or polished or I don't have to force myself to vlog if I'm not feeling it one day. And like last week I just wasn't really feeling it so I didn't vlog as much and this week I'm really feeling it so I might vlog every day. And I really like that this channel kind of is that place for me where we can do whatever we want and we can post whenever we feel like it. So I appreciate you guys being here whenever we do feel like it. That is really, really, really awesome and we're so glad to have you guys here. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.